So is there a unique looking chronograph under $2,000 that's actually worth it? Of course there is, with this Longines Big Eye. Let's get to it. What's up guys, welcome back to Avangard. And today I wanna to talk about a watch that's actually pretty near and dear to my heart. And a watch that I think a lot of collectors looking for that under $3,000 range, uh, or I will say at least under $2,000, uh, that want a chronograph, they're looking for that chronograph piece. And really, I think this is the watch to get. Now, some people might say, oh, you can get a Speedmaster Reduce and all these other watches. Now, you wanna get this, guys. This is the watch to get. So this is the Longines Big Eye. This came out a couple years back, I believe in 2017. And Longines actually uh, won an award for this design. I mean, it is a sexy, sexy looking watch, especially with the case back with a plane on the back. Um, and it's a watch that looks way more expensive than you would actually think. The retail is 2,600. I think we're selling this in our shop for uh, I think 1700 1800 something like that. I got to double check pricing again. Got to ask Lance <laughs> um, But this watch guys is one of those pieces that really caught my eye now long jeans is a legendary brand They've been around since the 1800s longer than Rolex longer than a lot of the big boys But you know now they've after they've been acquired by the Swatch group in the 80s 90s whenever that happened I think it was 80s um, <clears throat> They've become more of a entry-level brand although $2,500 is not a little bit of money, don't get me wrong. Um, but they're definitely more on the entry level. But what does that mean? The first pro to that is you get a legendary brand, legendary, legendary brand, um, with real watchmaking chops, if that makes sense, um, for very little money. Now, this watch um, is using ETA based movement, but it is specific to long jeans because they are integrated with the Swatch Group. Watch groups can dedicate certain movements to them. So it's a column wheel chronograph with a clutch. I mean, amazing smooth action. And it has that big eye on the dial. That big eye is why it's called the big eye, Longines big eye. It's kind of this, it's a big seconds counter right in your face. Um, very, very readable. Uh, this was actually a style that pilots in World War II would use. The Germans would use this. It's called it a Flieger, Flieger watch. Um, this is of course a Swiss watch but they're kind of hearkening to that uh, kind of design. Now, I think the watch is gorgeous. I think the movement is amazing. Kind of wish it had an open case back actually because the movement is beautiful. We'll insert a video of the movement. Um, it's absolutely stunning for being an ETA. It is really is beautiful. The only problem I would say with this watch, or I would say there's a couple problems. The first is the leather that it comes with. Long jeans, guys. This is terrible leather. Terrible, terrible leather. Um, I like the look of the leather. The quality of the leather is trash. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> like I'm selling this watch, I'm telling you the leather is not great. Um, it's very, very low quality. You definitely have to get another band for it. It's very thin. And it's strange because there's watches cheaper than this that have better quality than others. So the first thing I would do is match the style of leather, but change the quality, make get a better quality piece of leather. Um, another thing though, I will say, the packaging of this watch which is what makes the bad leather very confusing the packaging of this watch is absolutely massive it's double or triple the size of a rolex box it's crazy it's a giant wood box very heritage vintagey looking very very cool but then you get this really weird leather or not weird bad leather so long jeans consistency kind of strange kind of strange there i don't know what's going on um, but other than that, that's really the only kind of downside I would say on this watch is scrap the leather it comes with and get a an aftermarket one or get a mesh bracelet. I saw, I know Bruce Williams on YouTube did another video on this watch back in the day and he put it on a mesh and it looked really good. But yeah guys, if you want a Flieger in your collection, a chronograph under that $2,000 mark, this is the watch to really go for. Um, and it's beautiful. I mean, we're going to show you now B-roll in the video. It's absolutely stunning. But yeah, guys, this watch is available on Avangard, so if anyone's interested, please shoot us a DM or an email. Um, other than that, guys, stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys on the next video.